Okay. Live. All right. So I just wanted to hop on here. Um, my messy office announced that uh, if you haven't heard already, Josh Duggar was found guilty today. He was found, let's see, I'm gonna pull this up. Uh, he was found guilty on both charges of receipt of child pornography and possession of child pornography. Sentencing will be in four months and he faces up to 20 years in prison, probably won't get that much, and fines of up to 250,000 USD for each count. He was led away by federal marshals, by US marshals uh, who are federal, right after the verdict came out. So that's good. He won't be going home to his children or anyone else's children for that matter. So that is good news. That is a uh, really good news for anyone who has been abused in the faith community, especially sexually abused, who's had their abuse covered up and who's been silenced, who's been gaslit, all that. Um, I will have a video coming out in January. I need to get it done um, regarding the youth pastor at my church, former youth pastor at my former church who uh, dabbled in that a bit, uh, sexually abused minors and was eventually caught and he was sentenced and spent about a year and a half in jail. Maybe it was prison, I'm not sure, but I'll have a whole video on that. And uh, I'm currently pulling up legal files for that, legal records. And I uh, discovered some stuff that I didn't know about before, but um, yeah, it's a it's a day day of justice for victims. I hope his victims uh, feel some sort of justice. You know, I'm sure it's a complicated situation since some of the victims are related to him and everything. So yeah, um, this feels really great. He's gotten away with sexual abuse for so long. Uh, for about 20 years, it sounds like, more than 20 years, according to the family friend that testified. So this is, a, this is a really great day. You know, these people get away with this time and time again, predators do. And uh, this just feels really great.